this next one comes from Suresh who wants to know what should be the process of manually rebalancing a portfolio. Rebalancing of portfolio requires two things. You know, one is to frame the rule of what your asset allocation will be and what and at what periodicity you will rebalance it. And the second rule which you have to formulate, first is entirely up to you. You decide to invest 75% into equity, 25% into debt. Uh, I think first time rebalancing should be done after one, one and a half year, simply because it will be tax efficient. Uh, holding of equity after one year, after, you know, uh, redemption or selling of equity after one year becomes more tax efficient and you get an opportunity to rebalance without any severe tax implication. Hopefully, you know, when equity goes up. Uh, and the second rule which you should, which you need to formulate is, uh, there are two, two kind of rules which you can formulate about rebalancing. If your asset allocation goes wacky in a, by a certain margin, assuming that, you know, you have decided to invest 75% into equity and 25% into debt, and this 75%, if it ever becomes 85%, you will rebalance. Or every one year, you will take a look at the allocation. And if the allocation is working very much in the range of, you know, 5%, you will not rebalance, but goes beyond 5% variance, you will change. So this, this will bring about a degree of, don't, don't uh, resist your temptation to rebalance every now and then, because it will have, you, you will cause serious, uh, you know, transaction cost as well as tax implication could be there. And uh, if you are actually accumulating your portfolio, uh, if you are actually doing your SIP, uh, then there are there is another way of doing this rebalancing. Assuming that you have started to invest 2,500 rupees in a debt fund and 7,500 rupees in an equity fund, and as a result of equity markets going up. You are 70, you know, seven and a half thousand rupee done over the last 12 months, and you look at the investment values today. You find that your debt fund has gone up by 10 percent, but your equities have gone up by 20 percent. As a result of which, your equity values are now about 85 percent. So the way to rebalance in your while you are still investing is to stop your investment in equity for one or two months, make larger investments in fixed income this will get rebalanced without any transaction, uh, without any new transaction to be done, without selling any investment. So it will have no tax implication. So you can periodically re do rebalancing by not investing in one of the asset class to rebalance your portfolio.